Bang. Go. Bake a cake, roller skate, milk a cow, show me how. Banana split, camping trip, head a frog, catch a fish. Sushi rolling, bonsai tree, custom doll accessories. Adventures just around the bend. Charlie can. can and today i'm going to be trying to guess what's under this thing because i'm going to be given a weird old object and i don't even know what the heck it is so i only have 30 seconds to guess what what the heck's under this and if i don't get get the, the object correct then i have a clue under here only one clue and let's begin Okay, so time to start now. This is, I don't know, so you can crank it. It's all uh, like pulled in. Down here there's like this spiral thing that's moving. So it looks like you would put something on there, but I don't know what. Okay, let's just get our clue. Okay, so meat, what, what does meat have to do with this? Do you like, I don't know. Do you like stick it here or something? I don't know. Oh man, my time's up. Let's get the magical card and see what was this. Ah, oh, who would know? This is an old meat grinder. You put the meat in the top, then crank the handle to grind meat or sausage and hamburger or whatever. Who would know this is a meat grinder? So what you would do is you would cut down the meat to a little bit smaller chunks. You would put it in there and then you would just grind it. So let's move on to the next one. What the heck is this thing? All right, let's move on to the next one. So now it's time to guess what the heck is under this thing. Start the timer now. Okay. What? I Is it a bell? Uh, hmm. <laughs> like I don't know. What what do I do? Okay, let's move on to this clue. A candle. Do you, I think that you like when it's burning and you You seem familiar. Anyway, I think, I'm not gonna do it, but I think you put this on top of it. Do you put it on top of it when the smoke's out? To get it out? It's a candle something. Um, I don't know. All right, I can't find it out, so. This is a candle snuffer? It was made in 1776 in England to extend, extend, but se, which is put out candles without blowing wax ev without oh without blowing wax everywhere. <clears throat> so I kind of was right, but I just didn't get the name. So instead of going like this to like get it out and the, all the wax would go everywhere. So what you would do is you would put it on top. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. What the heck is this thing? Okay, so now before I pull anything up, I just wanna say it feels like paper. Okay, anyway, let, let's start the timer. Go. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of unfold it, I guess. Okay, there it is. Where is it? There it is. What is this? Okay, um, 
Okay, is it like something you, if there's something stuck between your teeth, you like, is that what it's for? Um, I don't know, okay, I need my clue. Oh, if your buttons come undone, or you sew or something, or you store your buttons on it, I think that you, that you like, Put them back on. Okay, the timer's up. Let's go with the card. This is a button hook. I thought it was. It is used to help button shoes, gloves, or shirts, or other clothing. To use it, you insert the hook through the buttonhole, grab the button with the hook, and then pull. So this is what we're looking at. So what you would do in old times is, so you would just um, put it through the little hole and you would just, and you would get the hook and like kind of connect it to the button and then you would just pull. I mean, this is actually useful. Let's move on to the next one. What the heck is this saying? All right, so we moved on to the next one. Timer begin now. What? What's this? So it's like wooden and it's it has like metal on it. It looks like you would scrub something on it. Like it looks like a giant cheese grater. I don't know. You scrub something on it. Okay. Dirty fabric? Look. Well, it says Either side, according to fabric, washboard. This is a washboard. Okay, so our card fell. Okay, so this is a washboard. It's used to wash clothes by scrubbing out the dirt on the metal board. It was painted, <laughs> pa pa patented in the United pat patent in the United States in 1833. So what you would do is you would, so you would just get the clothes and then go like that. And the, the lettering up here kind of gave it away, but I mean, I still guessed it. So let's just move on to the next one. What the heck is this saying? Okay, we're on to the next thing, and timers start now. Is this like a mouse trap? I don't really know. And I can't even read it. It's just like metal. It looks like a, are these like dentures or something? Like, it looks like a mini bear trap or something. Okay, I don't know. <sighs> My time's up. So let's get a closer look at this thing. I have no clue. It's like sharp. And I, I don't know it. It was shut. Okay, let's just look at the clue. Okay. This is a vintage mouse trap. Yay! You squeeze the back of it to set it, then put cheese on the middle pad to bait it. Yes, I knew it. So basically, um, I don't want to put my fingers in there, but you would put the cheese right there, and then the mouse would go in there. So now let's see what the clue was, if my time wasn't up. Oh, it was a mouse. Okay, let's see how it works. So the cheese would be there and the mouse would want to go. Look. Yay. And this could actually still be used. This is actually a pretty nice mouse trap. So let's move on to the next one. What the heck is this saying? Okay, so now we're on to the next one. And start the timer now. What? 
I think I already have. I think this is how you make shoes. I think it's some kind of shoe thing. I don't know. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the clue. I knew it! It's something to do with a shoe. I think you put it in their, in their shoe. I don't know. I think, it, I think you either make shoes with it or you like, I don't know. Okay, let's look at the card. Where's the card? Okay, this is a shoe stretcher or widener. To use it, you insert it into your shoe. Then turn the crank to open up the, the wood foot inside of the shoe. So if you have a wider feet in your shoe turn, maybe you need this. So you twist it. Okay, so we're just gonna keep on turning it to see what happens. It's getting harder and harder to turn, which means that it should be getting tighter on the shoe. And then when it gets tight enough, your shoes should be getting wider. And then to undo it, you just twist it the same way. I see the shoes getting less tighter. Then you take it out again. Let's move on to the next one. What the heck is this thing? All right, this is our last weird object. So let's start the timer now. What? Is this like... Uh, I don't know. Let's get our clue. Oil? Is it like a car part? I don't, I don't know, okay. Um, do you, I think you put it, fill it up with oil and then put it in your car. I don't know. Let's like, do I put it in there? I don't know. Oh, my time's up. All right. This is a vintage copper oil can. You unscrew the nozzle, pour oil in the can, and if you have a squeak, squeaky door, you just give it a couple pumps on the bottom of the can. Should we try it? And then oil would go out and it'll just explode and then get to the place where you would really need it. So you could oil lots of different things. Sometimes like our swing outside is like really, really squeaky. So we have to like spray oil on it. And you could use this, like if you have a squeaky swing too, I guess. Well, you could use it for like a door. You could use this for almost anything. Yeah, it's kind of cool. For a second, I thought this was like, a dinosaur tail or something because it looks like a dinosaur tail like it looks like a like a bone or something like i don't know well that's the end of this video but if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button and remember if charlie can charlie you can too Three, two, go. This new product, the ear cleaner. The ear, I mean, can you restart that? No, 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 I. This new product, the ear vacuum, vacuums up any other stuff inside of your ear. All you do is stick up to your ear and you just press this right button on the back. And then, it sucks out all the earwax. <laughs> black hand on. Why do you have the black hand on? Three. You have the music. You have the musician. The musician hand on. The one where you crack the egg. Musician. Musician. Magician. Not magician. magician. Two. I know you guys can't hear very well, but 
I have this new little product to clean your ears. See this one in there? Just. It's as easy as that. You can even use it on mice. What the heck is this thing? Duh. Are you gonna say three, two, one, go?